Hello, John here, also known as Venonator, and welcome back to the TGC Tours. So we're at the John Daly Cocktail Open, which is at Wingspread Prairie Club. So last week we made the cut in our first ever um, time playing in CCI, so we did well. Um, we also we ended up about 35th place or something like that, which is pretty good as well, actually, to be honest, for a first time on this um, at this level. CCI is more challenging than CCJ, of course, so it's I'm not expecting the same level of results, really. Um, I am playing this a little bit late. I'm playing this on Monday. Uh, so there's a lot of more people that have played the, the round. So there's 56 people have played so far. 10 under is the best. Um, to sort of make the cut, it looks like about 4 or 5 under is a pretty good score to aim for. So I'll be aiming around that area. Um, I have played this um, course a few times, just practice rounds, and I haven't got over 5 under, I don't think, anyway. So, yeah, the... It's, just, it's a more difficult course, and yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if I actually can make the cut this week. Fingers crossed we do well. So uh, let's see what the settings are like for round number one. So black tees, pin set one. Uh, we've got low wind speed from the west. Green speed's fast. Then we've got fairway firmness and green firmness both default. So fairway and green firmness. Let's see what they are. Fairway's normal, greens are firm. Okay. Let's see how we get on here. Hopefully we can play well. Uh, we started last week really well, we got 9 under um, and then we went a bit downhill afterwards and struggled. Um, the second round we got 3 under because of the wind and then the, yeah, just kept going. Hello there, this is John. I'm very but overall I was happy with how last week went. We starting out today with Let's see if we can do something here. First hole. Let's start by piping this up the middle Decent we'll first shot. From there. Hopefully it's not going to go too far and it hasn't, that's pretty good actually, that's I'm good. happy with that one. And second shot here on the first. Okay, so I think this is pretty much just as it is. Ah, oh, no, I hit it too fast, but it's gone okay. It's gone too far, but it's, it's pretty approach. good. Nice. Ooh, okay. setting up for birdie here. So this is a bit of a slippy one. So 155 green speed. What I did notice is the greens are quite tricky on this course. Setting up here with a four foot putt. Okay, okay. so we start with a par. So, decent way to start any round, really, with a par. But yeah, okay, decent enough. But yeah, I did notice the greens can be a bit tricky on this one. It's very much if you miss them or you get the pace slightly wrong, they go, you can get it very, very wrong very quickly. Okay, so I've hit that fast. Not sure this is going to get over it, unfortunately. Okay, it's not. Oh, oh, there we go. Lucky, lucky, but good. About 160 to the pin. Okay, so I think this is fine. No wind at all. So the the know, ground really right. moved that to the to the right. Sometimes it doesn't do much at all, and sometimes it does absolutely loads. Okay, it just depends. Being a bit cautious with the pacing here, just because, as I said, I've done a few practice rounds, and oh. it's gone flying past the hole. Okay, par putt coming. Okay, up. so another par. And you're at even par. I mean, yeah, that that's a decent par again. I'll, I'd be happy with five under in this round. So I'm just third. aiming to make the cut this week again. Hopefully, I can do that. That was a decent hit, only 98%, but in a good area, so there you go, that's worked out nicely. It's pretty flat here as well. I'm going to go with four hybrid, and I'm just going to increase the distance on it. Only hit 98% power, which isn't ideal. Felt like the wood, the free wood would have gone too there far, go. but that's a shame. That was, wasn't for eagle next. the most committed okay, to shot. Sound because if you sink this, you'll get one. Right, that's a good straight pot path. It's going quite fast, actually. Oh. Okay. About six feet to go here. This one's tracking. There we go. We got our first oh, birdie. Dropping it in for the bird. But yeah, something about this course, the pacing. I, I find it more difficult to pace the putts. Whether or not it's just a lot of, I don't know, downhill or slanting on the, the green, I don't know, but this I find it a bit trickier. Three. Okay, I'm going to go with this here. Right, what's the four iron look like here? 
Yeah, I'm going to go with the four iron, actually. Ah, uh, terrible shot. But it's on the green. Okay. I Workable. Approve. This one's 26 feet out. Decent looking pot. Whether or not is this going to turn in enough? That oh, fantastic. Great pot. Nice back -to -back really good pot there. I'm really happy with that one. I wasn't expecting that to go in. Um, yeah, pretty pleased. I mean, it looked like it's going to turn even more. It's lucky I, I was at that sort of distance with it because, um, yeah, I think it would have just carried on turning to the left there. Okay. I'll do with this one. Just maybe try and hit it over here. Only 93% power, which actually might help me here. So I don't know why I aim so much to the right. There's no wind to adjust for, go. but um putting for eagle here now on this. Oh, look at this. Here's a putt for eagle. Careful with this one. But um, let's see if it just oh please don't go down that other hill. It might do. Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, I really struggle with the pace on them. All right, let's get back on, on this, this course here. And this is our third shot. The pace of the putting. And that'll go well, down for the birdie. Nice <laughs> that hit. solves that problem, doesn't it? There we go. Look at that. Brilliant. And after that one, you'll bring your score. Down okay, so that's worked out pretty nicely. My chipping actually coming into play and helping me out there. Um, chipping is, as you may know, if you watch my channel fairly often um I, it's one of my weaknesses is chipping so very happy that one worked out so yeah i've been partially swinging it Nicely quite done. a bit more recent like okay. since i've been practicing not sixth. intentionally it just seems to have happened that way yeah it's another awkward pitch shot but it's the results are better than the play at the From minute which I'm, I'm pretty happy with fine. I mean, I'm happy that the result's going well. To the cup. It's oh, definitely helping that the wind's low, so that's a factor and I don't have to drops. take in very much. No. Keep you at three under par. Yeah, three under through six is fantastic. And this one is a par three. Uh, okay, so I'll go with this. Oh, wow. Oh, your approach is heading uh, left. Yeah, confidence for whatever okay, reason has lowered quite a bit recently. Hole. Hey, that looks decent, actually. That looks pretty good. Yeah, brilliant. Great recovery shot, and considering. It be nice to save par here. There we go. We've got a par at that. Nicely. That's good. That needed to be a good shot. And fortunately it was. Wasn't sure if right the flop shot was the right thing to go with there, to be honest. But it seemed to have done the trick, so... Pretty pleased with it. But yeah, recently, especially okay, like my um, we can do here on the my hole. pitch shots, I'm not quite as confident in them as I was. Beauty of a swing there. And yeah, 98% again. So yeah... Seems just a little bit more hesitant at the minute, but it's working All right, okay. Up now at about 200 yards away. Considering. I'm just going to go with this. Even though it's 18 feet up, I, you tend to hit slightly more than the percentage, so 101%. Come on, give us a kick to the right. And the roll on top of that I means that's pretty oh, good yeah. distance. You'll there you go. That was the right, the right club in the end. All right, this putt for the birdie. See how much this moves. Going towards that hole. That was the right direction. There you go. Look at that. For your fourth birdie of the day. There you go. So we're four under through um, through eight holes, which is surprising me and really good. Par. I'm really happy with this. Yeah, so the course is tricky, but um, it's, a, it's quite a nice course. Here we go. Teeing this one up on the night. It's a lot of um, hazards, etc., but there's not really any water. I don't think there's any water. I can't remember if there is or not. But, um, yeah, it's a simple enough course, really. It's a this bit tricky with the, as I say, it's more the greens than anything else on this course.
Okay, decent again, but 98 percent. To the left. Nice shot. That'll that'll. And yeah, very far away in terms of the direction I can drop it in that one. And yeah, you can see the green really moves towards where the hole is. That's really going from um, right to left. Yeah, look how much that turns at the end. Quite a good read. Just a few more inches. Decent. And after that hole, you will stay right there at four under. Yeah, so pretty happy of four under front nine is is positive, okay, really positive. Up now on the tenth hole. Okay, so I think this one, if I just hit this straight, should be fine. Pretty good. I say pretty good. That's almost dead on where we'd want it. Good job. Okay. Uh, lower this a little bit. Swing didn't uh, feel as clean as oh, I only 92% as well. Yeah, I definitely need to work on my tempo and my swing okay, pad. It's just side. gone Bunker. Let's have a nice nuts. Up and down and skedaddle. Not sure what's happened to it. Okay. All right, staring down a birdie pot. Decent recovery shot, but I mean, this really feels like it should have been better. That that was awful. <laughs> I accidentally hit that too early. A little bit more power. Well, that's think. unfortunate. Um, oh well. Clocking in at four under par at the moment. Yeah, so we're four under, which is pretty good going for ten. Ra um, yeah, ten holes, not ten go. rounds. So I'd be exhausted doing that. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this doesn't go too far here. No, not with the 96% and far too slow hitting again. Okay. We're in the big, thick, deep rough here. All right, so the lie might really affect this as well. This one's looking bunker bound. Uh, ah, don't know what that was. Just a little off on that approach. Yeah, not the best shot. This one's your third. Another flop shot, hopefully to save me. It's a stop rolling. It's close okay, enough. So we got this left for par. So far, so good. Okay, so got to be honest. I feel like I'm not playing overly well, but the results better than I would expect. So yeah, it's just about trying to build this confidence up a little bit here. Teeing off now on a par three. Right, there we go. That's a, bit of a, kick that's a right. good execution of the shot, but whether or not it's the right shot. Okay. Great work. Nice approach on that one. This one's nine feet right, away. See, this one is risky. I'm going to be a bit there. careful here. Oh, nice there you go. Played. It carried on rolling all the way. I thought with that pacing it wasn't going to, but right, yeah, that right. one, I believe when I did one of my practice down. rounds, I overhit that down. shot and it went right down the hill. So, yeah, you have to be very careful with that shot. All right, Hence why I was particularly cautious with it. But yeah, it worked. Good shot. 98%. Again, not quite the 100. But to be honest, the results are sticking by like, uh, doing well. I'm, I'm choosing the right yeah, shots by the looks of it. Which is, the pin. which is pretty important, really, of course. So when one area of my game is not working, then maybe another oh, one yeah. is. This one's heading to uh, I was hoping that was going to go over that bunker Setting with a bit for our with the power. Shot. But I think I actually hit that 100% power, so not overly surprising that it didn't. That, that was, was good. Lovely to watch from the bunker. So I've been practicing on pro recently. Pro okay, difficulty. Just because you can see like the spin and stuff like that on your on the ball easiest to sort of see if there's anything I'd learn from that. And this pin preference things come off. So now like the pin keeps being left in when I'm on the green, which I'm actually finding very annoying. <laughs> oh yeah. Be the club. Hopefully this I'd gets there. I prefer the pin to be out automatically so that I don't accidentally Fantastic. leave it in and hit Great. it. Okay, this one for I'm not even naming this. I'm just going to hit this and hope it gets close enough that I can get a birdie from it. Looking really good. Ooh. Ooh, wow. It was the right shot anyway, by the looks of it. Nice. Just That's slightly too fast. Number seven but um, the there day. you go. Yeah, another birdie, though. Right now you're seven and we're playing well enough that we're, we're really sticking in here. It's great. Close on this one. 
crazy how sometimes it just sort of works out. Okay, so I've hit that slow with that ridge on that on the green. That's well, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine We've actually. On the green, maybe on the next shot. Uh, a little bit too cautious. Okay, for the save. This putt's tracking. Oh, just about. Well done on this one. That's the tricky putt. The uh, the chip was a bit too far away. Okay, wasn't the best second shot. At the moment. But it's it's done all right. We're playing well, actually, considering the tempo and the swing path isn't quite there, but the shot choices are just, they're saving me at the moment. There we go. Nice contact on that one. Yeah, good. Exactly where I want okay, it to be. Okay, this is about 160 or so to the pin. This is right, I think. 98% again. Right, kick left. 98% is my favourite power apparently to hit this it turn. Is 30 feet away. Right, this is hard. Because three feet down on the very slippery greens. It feels like they're very slippery for whatever reason. I know 155s aren't the fastest greens, but this just feels really here we go. Let's drop this and get your par. They're really responsive to the right, hit to any like power you put in or not not putting enough in as well. Okay, but yeah, there we go. So we, we got a par from that. Par for the moment. So we're we're playing well. I mean, I did say five under would be a good score, so it's looking positive. 95% power this time. All right, good luck. Second okay. shot here on the 17th. Right, and that didn't do as much as I was expecting, probably just because I hit it slow, of course. Again, the power, same situation as before. Right, this is a flop shot, I think. Ah, no. Not enough power in that, and that's going to roll crazy. Okay. Here we go, 30 feet away. Just want this to get close, if I can. Right, the pace ah. is good. There we go, that's okay. I'll be honest, I just had visions of it getting nowhere near it, so I'm pretty happy that's going close. Okay, so it's a decent round at the minute. I'm just going to go one down, just in case. Oh, you hit that one well. So I've hit it really good in terms of the, um, the tempo and the swing path, but the, again, power is not my friend at the moment. It's slightly fast. Hopefully this one will pass um, I right. hoped that because of the, the liars on with that, that it's going to go a bit more to the right there, to be go. honest. But... Birdie. Okay, and yeah, okay. Lining up I was a bit cautious with the pacing the again. But there you go, we've got a par. Okay, so seven under is a good start. I'm happy with seven under for a first round. Um, looking at the score, seven under is actually ninth place at the moment. So it looks like I'm in a good position going into round number two. So yeah, positive first round. Seven under is a great way to start. Um, I'll see you very soon for round number two. And yeah, let's see if we can make the cut again this week. Till then, bye.